Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski. Uh, we're uh, coming at you live, taking some questions, showing you what is going on here in all across Western New York. That picture right there, that's a picture of uh, Highmark Stadium. Yeah, that is uh, about three feet of snow on your seat at the stadium as that picture was tweeted out from the Bills. And uh, you could see the field covered in about three feet of snow. Orchard Park already at the 36 inch mark. Hamburg at 37. We have seen incredible snow totals with more on the way. We've gotten some incredible pictures as well. You can send those pictures into us at weather at wkbw.com or if you post them on social media, use the hashtag see it on seven. Join, joining me, Mary Beth Robel, meteorologist Mary Beth Robel. Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say, Mary Beth. Good afternoon, uh, Aaron. You know, all that you? snow at the Bills Stadium, it's going to slow down the running game. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Hey, you had some pictures from uh, some family members. Uh, share those with us. Yeah. So I have a, a cousin who lives in Hamburg, my cousin Chris. And uh, so she sent me a bunch of pictures. And this is outside her window. And look at that sticky snow. It's sticking to the screen. It's very, very wet and water laden. But she says it almost looks like um, a bread that's rising. Um, before you bake it. Look at how high that snow pile is. So that she is says perfect. it's already like 37 inches or so. And she said down the street, it's already up to four to five feet in some places. Yeah. And that was in Hamburg, you said? That was in Hamburg, yeah. And then um, I also have uh, my sister-in-law who lives in Batavia. Okay. And my sister-in-law, Lori, says she's got about six to eight inches there. She says the sun is out now. I also have a couple of really good friends who live in the North Towns. They say, oh, just a dusting or so. It's, oh, we didn't get anything, but just wait. It's not over yet. Oh, it is. <laughs> this is a long duration storm here. It certainly is a long duration storm. Hey, and if you're watching us on Channel 7 and you want to interact with us, go on to Facebook, our WKBW page. You can log on there. You can ask us questions. Uh, and, you know, We'll do the best to uh, answer as many as we can. Like you were talking about snow totals, Hamburg, around 37 inches of snow. Seeing reports, like you mentioned, about three to four feet of snow in Hamburg. They are leading the way right now. Orchard Park at 36 inches. You saw Heimark Stadium just buried in snowfall. Elma, 22 inches. At the airport so far, about 14 inches of snow. And East Amherst, northern Erie County, only about four inches of snowfall. So um, John saying very little snow in Olean. Yep, you're uh, not going to see much down in Olean. Uh, the snow totals will be very, very low if you see any. Now, a lot of folks want to know how much more snow are we going to get? So this is the uh, high resolution model, which has been very, very consistent with snow totals. It's been showing some very impressive numbers, and those numbers are verifying. So this is from right now through Saturday around 5 a.m. Hamburg, another 21 inches. Eden, perhaps another 22. Orchard Park, another 19 inches. Same thing with East Aurora. You're talking maybe a foot to two feet on top of the three feet you have. So some of you will get close to five feet of snow before all is said and done. Now, oh, Angola is buried yet. Yeah, Derby is buried. Um, you're dealing with incredible snow totals uh, south of Buffalo. As we get into Saturday, we're going to shift our focus from the south towns toward the metro area and the north towns. Now, Buffalo tomorrow morning will have heavy snow, another foot or so of snowfall. Wide range of snow totals in Buffalo. North Buffalo, six to eight inches. Here in downtown Buffalo, about eight to 10. South Buffalo, seeing reports of two to three feet of snowfall. But Buffalo will pick up another 12 inches. Kenmore, Amherst, more than a foot. You'll get yours tonight into tomorrow. And then late in the day on Saturday, that fan shifts further northward up into Niagara County. Uh, Mary Beth, I did see someone mention about the lightning. Did you hear the yeah. thunder last time? Oh, I did. And actually, in my living room, the my living room just lit up with lightning, and the thunder was right over. It shook my house. I do want to mention something about the people who are in that heavy, heavy snow band. Um, it is really wise to actually shovel or snow blow in shifts because of the fact this is really tough on the snowblowers right now because it's so water laden. But if you um, if you shovel now, you're gonna have to shovel again, but it's better to do it in shifts so you don't have to do it all at once because it would really be a monumental task. Not to mention, 
it's tough on the heart. And especially if you have uh, elderly neighbors or if you know of any neighbors that have heart conditions, give them a helping hand because it's really not good for them to shovel this kind of snow. It's it's not that white fluffy stuff, Erin. No, it certainly is not. And that's why we call it the city of good neighbors. So help each other out. Uh, that Roz wants to know how's the weather for Sunday. It's your birthday. Well, first, happy birthday, happy Roz. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Sunday, yeah, Sunday will not be <laughs> like it today. Partly sunny, breezy on Sunday uh, with some scattered snow showers and a little sunshine temperatures in the mid 20s. Here's the look at that lake effect snow band um, and notice it's about 20 miles wide. The northern edge of that band right now stretching from Lackawanna. Lackawanna was catching a break. Now that band is moving back toward Lackawanna, uh, just to the south of Elma and Alden. And then we head toward uh, Hanover, back just near Concord, up into Boston. This is where the snow band is. And the heaviest snow, North Boston, Hamburg, Eden, West Falls, uh, back toward Orchard Park along 20A and back uh, into uh, North Boston. Those are areas. That's where that real bullseye is. So here's that lake effect snow update for you. That snow like you saw on the radar, inching northward again right now in the band snowfall rates about one to three inches per hour through early this afternoon it's going to kind of be in the same spot metro area south and east of buffalo with that one to three inches per hour maybe hear a rumble of thunder late this afternoon the band is going to drift further south and we'll all have those gusty winds now uh we have august who's uh kind of helping us out as well august if you could put up the traffic cameras uh, and let's go through some of these. This is a view of exit 56 in Blaisdell. Look at all the cars stranded on that exit. They've been there for hours. The snow coming down again in Blaisdell. There was a little low for a moment, and now the snow's picking back up. Getting reports about three feet of snow or so in Blaisdell. And notice those cars all backed up on that exit as travel is treacherous uh, on the throughway. Let's go to uh, exit 57 if you can as well. And again, um, you'll see that uh, heavy snow. This one in Hamburg, that snow continues to come down, just really, really piling up. And I hate to do this to you. We can shift back to maybe exit 54 or 55. It, it's um, fascinating. Yeah, right in there. That's perfect. Fascinating to see how well the Thruway Authority has plowed three feet of snow. You can see uh -huh. the trees at exit 54. That's the 400. They've been picking up a ton of snow. So uh, these uh, men and women who have been driving the plows pretty much all night are doing a great job. Uh, you know, folks staying off the roads for the most part. You see that back up on exit 56, allowing them to clear the roads. And you're talking about clearing almost three to four feet of snow. Yeah, you know, Aaron, um, Buffalo is really home to the Global uh, Snow Removal Symposiums. Um, a lot of the big cities around the country actually come to conferences here in Buffalo to learn how to get rid of their heavy snow very quickly and efficiently like we did. So kudos to all of the snow crews out there, the snowplow crews. Uh, they're doing a great, great job. And, it, and here in the city of Buffalo, it looks like all the bus routes are pretty clear. But again, you have to be careful because there is a travel ban for part of the county and and not for the other part but you have to know where the line is not to cross right yeah, yes. <laughs> and we're going to talk more about that mary beth coming up right after this commercial break stay with us and if you're on facebook live we'll still be there answering your questions okay we're on a tv break now for two minutes and 30 seconds so we're still uh on our facebook and other platforms we're just not live on tv Lancaster, Depew totals. Uh, Amanda's asking that. Um, Mary Beth, from what I've seen, a wide range of totals in those areas, anywhere from 12 to almost 20 inches of snow. I've seen wide range of snow totals from uh, Cheektowaga, South Cheektowaga, about 20 inches. The airport had uh, about 14, and then even further north, uh, lower numbers than that. So Yeah, um, I think it's like a foot to a foot and a half so far in Lancaster, Depew, but really the heaviest totals are in that Hamburg area that we can see right now. Yeah, yeah but please, um, you know, feel free to send us your, your pictures and your snowfall totals if you have a measuring stick. Oh, yeah, yes, and uh, Tom's asking if South Chicawa is going to get hit again. The answer is yes. You'll see a little snow early this afternoon in South Chictawaga. The heavier snow is coming tonight for you into uh, the first part of Saturday. So here's a view uh, over downtown Buffalo, blanketed in snow. 
about eight inches of snow here at the station. Very heavy, wet, high uh, water snowfall. And um, Peter is enjoying the snow, or excuse me, the little snow and uh, some sun in Williamsville until further notice. Yep, here's the band, kind of stationary through 5 p.m. And then you can see it heads further south uh, early this evening and then back up toward Buffalo, Lancaster, and Cheektowaga. I'm sorry, DJ, what'd you say? One minute left in the break? So, yeah, um, just be prepared for uh, rapidly changing uh, conditions on roads this afternoon, and especially once that snow band makes that jog either to the south or to the north. Uh, don't be caught off guard there. So yeah, just take yeah. it easy. Oh, we've got uh, this is our last block. Sorry, we got the uh, folks. Uh, uh, up probably seconds. We're we have back. Uh, Robin is asking how much. Uh, snow will accumulate in the north towns probably maybe a foot to a foot and a half we're expecting and that's going to come later tonight so if you live like in wheatfield um the tanawandas i know you don't have a lot of snow now but it's going to start to add up later tonight and tomorrow morning for that's sure five seconds, MD. Five seconds. yeah all righty All right, welcome back everyone. We are live here on Channel 7. We're also taking your questions live on Facebook, Mary Beth Robel and uh, myself. Uh, keeping you updated on what's going on with the snow. And Mary Beth, you know, we had the two minute, 30 second commercial break. We were taking some questions. A lot of people wanna know how much more snow we're going to see. Some of you, Hamburg, Orchard Park, already three to almost four feet of snowfall. Here's the latest model run of the additional snow in inches on top of what you already have from now through Saturday. Um, this is through Saturday morning. So Eden, Hamburg, Orchard Park, another foot and a half to almost two feet of snow on top of what you already have. Places like Marilla, 16 inches, Alden, Elma, nine to 10, Blaisdell, another 10. And we head up toward Buffalo and the North Towns. Buffalo, like you just mentioned uh, when we were talking on Facebook, Mary Beth, another foot here in the city. Amherst, Kenmore, the North Towns, foot to maybe a foot and a half. Depew, mm -hmm. about 17 inches of snowfall. Uh, Pendleton, about seven. Royalton, about five. And Niagara Falls, about five inches of snow. Again, the band- Hey, Erin, um, can you move over to Genesee and Wyoming counties? Because the folks there want to know how much they're going to get too. So just move it over a little farther east if you can. Because yep, um, you're going to get snow, too, for sure. And the driving conditions, especially on the 90, are going to turn worse later tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, but like a foot, foot and a half, not out of the question for the North Towns. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, lot more snow coming our way. Yeah, there's a view. Someone asked uh, for Wyoming County that we've got Attica, another 16 inches, Batavia, another five. Again, that sharp gradient where that lake band is, where... Um, you're driving and the northern edge of the band, that's where the heaviest snows will be. That's the band, that part's really uh, set up shop over Hamburg and Orchard Park. That's why you have those incredibly high snow totals. So that's what we're looking at as we head um, through tonight and tomorrow, um, where left Buffalo about another foot. Mary Beth, just wanna let you know, we have about 45 seconds left on the air and on, uh, we'll continue on to Facebook if we wanna go a little bit longer, but on channel seven, we have about 45 more seconds. So. Anything else you want to add before we get going? Well, I just say uh, be prepared for rapidly changing driving conditions. Please help out your neighbors, your elderly neighbors, and the neighbors that maybe have heart conditions or respiratory conditions. They need help. It's a very heavy, heavy snow. And just take this in shifts. If you have a lot of snow, start to shovel or snow blow now so it's not a huge task at the end. And it'll Thank make you, it even more difficult. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Mary Beth, for uh, joining me on this. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us and sending in your pictures we, and questions. We certainly appreciate it. Stay safe. We'll continue to keep you updated. Take care.